The Raiders never seem to amaze me. I mean, we, we have all this money for a free agency right now. And that's the answer to the quarterback situation that you give us. Jimmy fucking Garoppolo. Jimmy G. I, I, I'm at a loss for words. Um, today's my birthday. I turned 31 today. I was headed out to go to the aquarium, actually, with my daughter. Um, and I get that news update. The Raiders, they just never seem to amaze me, guys. I've always said that Jimmy G, Kirk Cousins, um, Derek Carr, they're all in the same group. They're in the same group. They're C to B, C to B quarterbacks, right? Potentially could get lucky and win a Super Bowl. Potentially. But you want to know what's going to make them successful and get them that Super Bowl? A number one defense. And that's something that Jimmy G had for the last four years. Got to the Super Bowl, lost, right? Throws, you know, throws picks, throws a lot of picks. He plays very conservative, throws 30, 20 yards max. Um, I absolutely hate this, this signing. I absolutely hate this signing. But what can I, what can I do? What can we do as fans? We can't do shit. The Raider fans, I, I swear, guys, you have Aaron Rodgers that's on free, about to be on free agency right now. And this whole, like, the Raiders haven't been interested. Uh, the Jets are talking with him. I just, our number one goal was to get Tom Brady. He retires. Get it? It throws a curveball at Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler, right? You would think you'd go for the next veteran up. If you're wanting to win now, you're going to go after Aaron Rodgers, right? But instead of going after Aaron Rodgers, what they did was they went for Jimmy G because Ziegler and McDaniels know him from the Patriots back in the day. And he they go after Jimmy Garoppolo, like from the Niners. We get the Niners leftovers, man. I mean, this, this is just a slap in the face for me. Um, I'm absolutely disgusted. I've had like 10 people text me that, you know, know me and they're all disgusted. I, there's not one person that's happy about this signing. Go to the NFL's page where they announce it. Uh, there's a bunch of, you know, other fan bases that are making fun of us in the comments and everyone's saying we're on suicide watch. That's pretty much how I feel. I mean, it, it's very, very sad. I don't know what their thought process is besides saving some money. I mean, at this point, if you were going to tell me last season, uh, are you going to let Derek Carr go? Or are you going to, um, you know, and get Jimmy Garoppolo? Like that's going to be the future? Hell no. I would have kept Derek Carr. I don't care if Derek Carr chokes on games. I don't care this and that. Last season was such a strange season for Derek. I honestly think uh, Derek was uh, intentionally pushed out. Um, I think we all kind of know that with the way things were being called and the way players were holding out and injuries being prolonged. There's a lot of weird things that happened last season. Derek Carr was just not himself. Um, I think what happens is you keep Derek and uh, we just continue to wait for the draft or, you know, something else that's going to be better. Uh, but instead we go for Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, I, I just, I, I can't get over it. The only thing that I'm thinking guys, besides this is the only positive I see. The only positive I see in this signing guys is that he signed for like $22 million a year. Derek Carr wanted like damn near $36 million. Fuck that. I mean, that guy literally hasn't even won a playoff game in his career. So I can see why, you know, that was still, you know, Jimmy and him being in the same class. Yeah, sure. We're saving a buck. But I mean, is the is the mindset to win now? You know, is it to win now? I don't know if it is or not, because it doesn't seem like it. This signing is not a win now for me. Um, because not only uh, was Jimmy not successful in San Francisco with a number one defense, uh, he's coming to the Raiders and we don't have a number one defense. We have probably the last defense in the league. Uh, so, I, I mean, are they going to go insane on free agency with, uh, with defensive players? I, I don't know. Uh, we're going to have to because we don't even have a defense. 
Jimmy G doesn't even have really that good of an off. It's not even to have that good of an offensive line. And you lose Jared Stidham to the Denver Broncos. I'd rather have kept Jared Stidham than go for Jimmy G. We would have been able to sign Jared Stidham to a way cheaper deal. And it would have been pretty much the same result. Same damn quarterback. I just, I, this signing to me is just a, a slap in the face. Uh, this is what's showing right here that McDaniels is really, really in control here. And it's really starting to fucking piss me off. Like, imagine Devontae Adams. He was the one that was subliminally all year, all, all offseason, saying that we might be able to get Aaron Rodgers. Talking about him checking out homes on Twitter and all this stuff. And then now, um, you know, you know that's his guy, right? And now he's going to, we're bringing Jimmy G? Like, damn, bro. Like, I'm so confused with this team and just seeing Jimmy as my starter like I can't stand the 49ers man and just seeing him in a in a Raider thing like it, it's gonna be weird uh it sucks guys uh, I I'm really frustrated with this with this um signing let me know what you guys think down below only optimistic thing I can think of guys because I know you got to look at it from a business standpoint is the guy signed for 22 million dollars um, I guess he has some sort of chemistry with McDaniels, but, you know, so far, you know, McDaniels just fuck, man. Just really fucking doing weird shit. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, it, it sucks. It sucks. But I got to, you know, continue my day, guys. Just wanted to hop on here real quick, give you guys an instant reaction uh, before I headed out to uh, the aquarium with my kid. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, I'll be posting all the free agency stuff as much as possible. Uh, but, you know, i just been waiting for the whole quarterback and free agency to start, right? Let's see what we were going to do. And Jimmy Garoppolo, a three-year deal for the Raiders. Absolute trash, insane, just, ah, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. I'll see you guys on the next one.